Welcome back to my pre-calculus series. Today, we are talking about permutations and combinations. My students have a test coming up, and it will cover these things, so I thought it might be helpful for them to review. And maybe it will help somebody else, too, to learn the basics of permutations and combinations. So, what are permutations and combinations? Well, uh, they are just ways that we can select arrangements of different things from a pool of options. Uh, let's say that. Selecting arrangements. Arrangement. From a pool. Not a literal pool, but, you know, a selection of options. Okay, so we're going to talk about two different types of permutations. There are more than these two types, but these are some of the basics. And actually, I have some subtypes in here. Number one is a permutation in which repetition is allowed. Repetition. My handwriting is getting bigger and bigger. Okay, so for example, we have uh, King Rich Pants. So give him a crown. Oh yeah. He has a cool mustache. King Rich Pants. King Rich Pants has 250 pairs of golden pants. Thus the name King Rich Pants. He was known throughout the world for his amazing golden pants. He had 500 pairs of shoes. And he had 1,000 shirts. Fortunately for us, there are such well-rounded numbers. Um, if King Rich Pants one day came to you and asked you to find out how many different combinations of clothes he could possibly have, what would you say? I mean, you have to, you have to know how to do this, or else you're going to get beheaded or thrown in the dungeon. Do you know, King Rich Pants is he had, he had a very short temper, uh, even though he had a, such a huge smile. Well, okay, <laughs> enough of that. <laughs> he asks you how many combinations of clothes he can wear. How many different outfits, basically. <laughs> if he can combine all these. Um, the way you would find out is using what we call the multiplication principle. And all you have to do is multiply these all together. It's pretty simple. So you have 250 pairs of golden pants times 500 pairs of shoes. That looks like it says so. Times 1,000 shirts. Okay, do the math, and it comes out to 125 million different outfits. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure he wouldn't have time in all of his life to wear all those different combinations, unfortunately for King Rich Pants. But hey, he's a king. What more could he ask for? Okay. We have another type of permutation here. Oh, uh, you know, I missed something. Yes, 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 yes. So, there's another kind. <laughs> um, say you are given a four-digit code. This is also within the repetition being allowed. Four-digit code. And there are 10 possible digits. So this is like your pin number at the bank or whatnot. And these digits are 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, through 9. Yes, single digits. Okay, so that is 10 possible digits. You have four spots open, and in each of these spots you can have 10 digits. 
one of ten digits. Okay, so um, for the rest of the video, we will be using terms n and r. So n is the number of options you have. In this case, it's 10. And r is the number of possible number of places that are open. And in this case, it's four. Okay, so all we have to do using the multiplication principle again is multiply. <laughs> and the answer you'll get will be 10,000. So there is another thing you can notice here. We, uh, you can just make a simple exponential expression out of this and it's n to the r. So we have n being 10 here and r is four, so we could say 10 to the fourth. This doesn't work with the King Rich Pants example because you have these three different possibilities that are, you know, with different possibilities, yeah. <laughs> in this, it's the same for each one. Uh, you have 10 digits in each one. So we can just say 10 to the fourth, which uh, like we said before is 10,000. Okay, so that is how we find a permutation where repetition is allowed.